Daredevil contemplates suicide with a revolver, aiming at his head and Bullseye's hospital bed. Daredevil discusses Elektra's death with Bullseye, who caused her demise. Chucky, a boy obsessed with Daredevil, brings Matt Murdock to see Bullseye. Matt has dinner with Chucky and his father Hank, who disapproves of Chucky's idolization. Chucky believes he's Daredevil and fantasizes about superheroes and supervillains. Daredevil surprises Chucky, taking him on a city adventure. Daredevil points the revolver at himself, engaging the trigger, then shifts its aim toward Bullseye, once again pulling the trigger. Matt observes Chucky concealed in the foliage, prompting Chucky to dash away with a determination to intervene heroically. Chucky, spying on his father Hank, witnesses a conflict with a man named Weasel. Daredevil intervenes, preventing Hank from shooting Weasel. Chucky's father, Hank, turns violent and Daredevil subdues him, knocking him out. Chucky's strange behavior concerns his mother, Liz, who speaks with Matt about Chucky's claims. Chucky, at school, reacts violently to a cruel remark pulling out a 38 caliber revolver. Daredevil, still with the revolver aimed at Bullseye, Daredevil recounts the story of his father, Batlin Jack Murdock, a skilled boxer who won his final and most significant match before his demise. Jack's death left a lasting impression on Daredevil, shaping his understanding of manhood. In a childhood incident, Matt, walking home from school, fought a boy who ripped his book, marking his first loss of temper. Matt confided in his father, who responded with a backhand slap, causing Matt to bleed and flee, leaving Jack to express regret. Daredevil, with the revolver aimed at Bullseye, discusses their impending confrontation, emphasizing their intertwined destinies. Daredevil pulls the trigger, revealing an empty chamber, and takes a seat beside Bullseye. Both Daredevil and Bullseye find themselves in an inescapable situation together.